You are a worthless pansy ass who is now weeping and slobbering all over my drum set like a nine-year-old girl. So how's it going with the studio band? Good. Yeah, I think he likes me more now. I push people beyond what's expected of them. I believe that is an absolute necessity. I want to be one of the greats. And because I'm doing that, it's going to take up more of my time. All right, so um, talk to us about you play, you know, a very talented drummer mm -hmm. and who goes through basically hell to yeah. reach perfection. Um, how did you prepare for this role? How did I prepare? Well, I, you know, I played drums since I was like 15, so I felt I felt pretty good behind a drum kit. But you know, I'd never played jazz before. Jazz is kind of a, you know, and it, I naturally picked up drums, and I can, you know, you could put a lot of people on a drum kit, and they could play like, you know, right, you know. But for jazz, you can't you can't fake it. You do need to to put the hours in into practicing, and and so that's what I did. I started taking lessons for like four hours a day or three days a week for, you know, three and a half weeks. So not a ton of time, but enough to where I could, you know, feel comfortable kind of, you know, holding the stick traditionally and, you know, kind of moving around the kid and, and getting the posture down. That's the jazz thing. You just got to have that, you know, the posture. All those guys are just right over their, right over their, uh, you know, their hi-hat and, and snare, so. Right, get that jazz swag down. Yeah, exactly, now jazz swag. Five, six, seven. <laughs> Not quite my tempo. It's all good. No worries. Here we go. Five, six, seven. You're rushing. Here we go. Uh, ready? Okay. Five, six, and. Dragging just a hair. Wait for my cue. Five, six, seven. Rushing. Dragging. Why do you suppose I just hurled a chair at your head, Neiman? I, I don't know. Sure you do. The tempo? Were you rushing or were you dragging? I, I don't know. Start counting. Five, six, seven. In four, four, damn it! Look at me! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, was I rushing or was I dragging? I don't know. Count again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rushing or dragging? Rushing. So you do know the difference. Now, talking about faking it, how much of the blood, the sweat, the tears were real in those scenes? I mean, your fingers are bloody. Or... Well, I do. It is a real tear at some point. The blood is mostly not mine. I don't know whose it is. <laughs> and, and uh, yeah, the sweat, a lot of the sweat is real just because, you know, drumming, if it's... You know, if, if it's hot, which a lot of film sets are with the lights, and, and you're playing a 10-minute drum solo, like, you're not going to finish it looking, you know, suave. Or at least you shouldn't. I mean, right. you look at all the drummers, and they're, you know, covered in sweat, and they're, you know, they're going crazy back there. So, yeah, a lot of that sweat is mine. Okay, now talking about that one tear that you just mentioned, uh -huh. what was going on in your head, and what, what scene was that where it got uh, real? I was just thinking about the, the Phillies season this year, and I just instantly started crying. Oh, really? That was, a pretty, that was a pretty easy one. Okay, gotcha. Now, uh, also talk to us about, you know, this guy, your teacher, JK, pushes you to some extremes uh -huh. uh, to the point where you want to quit. Um, after doing this movie, what's your, what do you take it away from, take away from it? And what's your opinion? Like, is there a point where you do go too far? I mean, you know, they kind of, th this guy wants to be great and he wants to be one of the greats. So it doesn't really, he, despite the fact that JK is, you know, push him, push him, push him. He, you know, he's not gonna quit. And there's a scene in the movie where, Dame, or where, uh, where Andrew, 
you know, I was talking to Fletcher, his teacher, and he says, well, you know, isn't there a point where you can push somebody too far and that they'll be discouraged from ever becoming one of the greats, you know, right. like Charlie Parker, and, and J.K. says, no, uh, you know, that's a, uh, Charlie Parker would never be discouraged. And so that's where it comes from, man. It just comes from you. If you truly believe in something, you believe that you are meant for something, it doesn't matter what anybody's going to tell you. Like, you will not, you know, you will not quit. And if you do quit, then it was never, you know, it was never, you were never meant for it anyway. Gotcha. So. Gotcha. Well, well said. We have one question. I probably should have asked the director this, but where does Whiplash come from? What's what inspired that title? Uh, well, Whiplash is the name of the song uh, that's in the movie. That's that's a really you know popular jazz standard that we that we play. And then it's also kind of taken a double entendre because of you know kind of just the uh, uh, you know the dynamic between the two characters. I think that kind of like the, the physical, the, the the pulling and you know taking back and forth. And, and so I guess the you know, the Whiplash. Gotcha. Awesome. Well, thank you so Great. much. You're watching Black Tree on TV. Only on Soul of the South.